thank you for watching this brief video, Alzheimer's Top 10 Causes. My name is Stephen Rubin. I am a Nevada licensed medical doctor, board certified psychiatrist, and independent medical examiner. I have been specializing in senior healthcare for over 20 years. My professional mission is to provide common sense healthcare and education to seniors, their families, and the community. The goal of this video is to clarify why people develop dementia and offer my observations about what might be done to prevent or modify its course. Because information about dementia has become as confusing as the disease itself, I've developed the Alzheimer's Grid, a simple method for identifying the causes and risks for developing dementia. The Alzheimer's Top 10 Grid does not rely solely on a numerical value. Its clinical value is in offering universal and powerful insights into the common causes of dementia and can be assessed for oneself or the benefit of others. The truth is, we do know what causes most dementias. Many of the reasons are related to each other. The more we know, the better we can prevent dementia from occurring, and the better we can design treatment plans, not just for management of others, but for ourselves as well. Dementia means without mind. Dementia is a syndrome or group of problems that include memory loss and cognitive confusion. Changes in personality, mood, and behavior may occur. As dementia worsens, a person becomes unable to safely function independently. Dementia occurs because brain cells die. The brains of people suffering from Alzheimer's have abnormal protein deposits called plaques and bundles of twisted, dead nerve cells called tangles. These plaques and tangles are considered an Alzheimer's process based on Alois Alzheimer, the German physician who discovered these brain lesions more than 100 years ago. Plaques and tangles can also appear in various degrees in other types of dementia and in cognitively healthy people. Alzheimer's disease is one type of dementia and has become a general or generic term. It is a modern way of saying dementia or senility. Screening for the top 10 causes of Alzheimer's leads to a significantly more accurate dementia diagnosis. Because every individual has a unique biological, psychological, and social profile, these 10 causes are not ranked in any order of priority. Each cause has a different effect on every person. Many of the reasons are coexisting. Number one, cardiovascular disease. Think of your brain as a tree, your heart as a pump, and your blood vessels as branches that get smaller and smaller the farther they reach into your brain. Declines in circulation cause the brain to shrink. Sludge gets deposited, and like leaves falling, memories and cells start to die off. Number two, respiratory disorders. Cognitive deficits often occur in people with chronic obstructive lung diseases. The brain thrives on oxygen, not cigarette smoke, pollution, or the toxins we breathe in our homes, jobs, and cities. Number three, sleep apnea. Apnea is a particular breathing problem of repeated choking and gasping when asleep. Sleep hypoxia is also inadequate oxygen, though without choking, and it can be as harmful or worse. It is a potentially significant and very under-recognized cause of dementia and many other medical and mental illnesses. Number four, alcohol abuse. Excessive alcohol use can cause harm to others as well as one's own body and brain. Sleep apnea, head traumas, Parkinson tremors, and heart and liver diseases are common direct or indirect alcohol-related causes of dementia. Number five, prescription drugs. Everything said about the good and bad of alcohol is very much true for drugs. All pharmaceutical substances, prescription and over-the-counter, have varying impacts on the nervous system. Today's medications are of unprecedented strengths and amounts. Number six, eat 
drink, breathe. Every single molecule that we eat, drink, inhale, and stick into and onto our bodies becomes who and what we are, from the roots of our toes to the tree of our brain, all the way down to our DNA. Nothing more, nothing less, and no exceptions. Number seven, head injuries. Depending on the damage, concussions and other physical traumas to the head can cause dementia directly or render the brain vulnerable decades later to developing early or unexplained declines. Number eight, genetics and medical illness. Some people may be predisposed to dementia because of genetic inheritance. Persons with long-standing illnesses that affect body functions are also at increased risk for cognitive declines, and therefore benefit from proactive health management. Number nine, medical complications. Iatrogenic illness is the term for medical problems resulting from the complications of medical treatment. Examples include surgical complications and inaccurate diagnoses leading to harmful treatments and medication side effects. Number 10, sedentary lifestyles. Far too many dementias are unnecessarily caused by our own passive behaviors. Healthy aging requires balanced physical, intellectual, emotional, and meaningful activities. A sedentary lifestyle can be lethal. I hope this information has been helpful. The purpose of the Alzheimer's Grid is to improve the quality of life for all individuals, with and without dementia. To use the Alzheimer's Grid, simply estimate which causes apply, to what degree, and what factors might be modifiable. To download the Grid, purchase books, or for more information, including in-services and presentations, go to www.gerolessence.com.